Well, have you ever thought of the significance of making students write to each other while they are in the classroom? Well, in a speaking classroom or in a communication classroom, as language teachers, you might have observed that some English language teachers or EFL teachers use role plays. They give assigned different roles to different students, like one becomes the manager, the other becomes customer. The customers come, ask questions, the manager responds. And similarly, in a writing classroom, we can give different roles to different students. And this is how we can develop a natural writing environment in the classroom. And this is why, what is called writing to each other. Like that can be through modern technologies, via emails, or via WhatsApp chat, or via Facebook uh, groups, or via blogs. It depends. It depends upon the skills and expertise of language teacher, how they develop this sort of uh, habit amongst their students. Writing to each other is important in a second language classroom. By second language, of course, I mean we have English here as a foreign or second language. So where people can realize how they actually correspond with, the, uh, with people outside the classroom. So the notion of writing to each other in a writing classroom is to make writing as natural as the outside world. As they come across the world outside, for instance, how to write a complaint to a manager in, in McDonald's or how to uh, uh, make changes in the ticket or time and write it to the manager. So this is how one becomes the manager and the other becomes uh, customers and they write to each other and this is how uh, it can genuinely impart communicative uh, spirit amongst students and uh, of course, different levels require different l uh, kinds of competence. This kind of activity or this kind of exercise can be useful at intermediate or tertiary level. However, at the basic level, writing notes to each other can be helpful. And this can be used for lower level students. Right. So... As you might have observed as language teachers, you might have been teaching or uh, you might reflect upon your own learning journeys, how you came to write, actually, how you learned how to write well. So we have this notion of pen pals in literature on writing, and we have this notion of writing emails to each other, live chat, and... This is how in a, in, a, in a writing classroom, it's the role of the teacher as a facilitator to offer them some prompts where they can think of some questions, at least five questions about some issues faced by the society. So this is the main purpose is to develop a natural environment. The main purpose is to develop conversational environment. And of course, it helps them improve their motivation level, which otherwise may not be enhanced. And in this way, uh, teachers can, uh, of course, depart from their conventional way of teaching, conventional way of methodology, conventional way of using some strategies. Um, they might think of um, using innovative methodologies or strategies or um, uh, techniques or approaches which can be useful for the growth of the students. Apart from writing letter to each other, students can write complaint to each other. One writes the complaint and the other offers the solution. So in this way, the use of, as I m mentioned earlier in the previous module, that I made it compulsory for my students to bring in laptops in the classroom. And uh, the student, I put them in the groups, in the pairs, and use the laptops. So it gives them the reason. It gives them the logic. It gives them the rationale why they are writing. And 
So like role plays, as I mentioned in the beginning of this module, this kind of exercise can bring in um, communicative competence, uh, which is like how they are well efficient at discourse level, at strategic level, at social linguistic level. So there are different layers of writing competence which we can enhance through bringing in these communicative activities in the writing classroom.